Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Captain Jamie Schaefer and I'm an instructor. Today's video is going to be on how to solve for latitude and longitude to get a navigational fix. Without further ado, let's get started on it. When you plot latitude and longitude on a Mercator chart projection or a paper chart, you're going to use the right hand side or left hand side as your latitude scale and either the top or the bottom as your longitude scale. If we look at this example, latitude scale measures latitude arc or distance at nautical miles. Each minute of arc equals one nautical mile and each tenth of one minute equals 0.1 nautical miles or 200 yards. If we look at this example over here on the left, you have 37 degrees, 16.0 north. So 37 degrees, here's 15. So this is 16 right here. That's one minute of latitude. And then you have 37 degrees, 17.0 minutes north right here. Here's 37 degrees, 15. Here's 16. Here's 17. So there is 37 degrees, 17.0 minutes north. In between them, we have one-tenth of one minute arcs. So we have 0.1 all the way through 0.9. If we wanted to find 37 degrees, 16.1 minutes, it's just one tick above that 37 degrees, 16.0. 37 degrees, 16.5 is this long line right here. It's halfway in between. And so on and so forth. If we look at the longitude scale, it's the same thing. We have 76 degrees, 18.0 minutes west right here. And we have 76 degrees, 19.0 minutes west right here. Same thing, that one-tenth of one minute is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and here is 0 0.5, that long line. The reason why they have a darker nautical mile and then a lighter one is so you can differentiate. It makes it easier to plot. So let's do some examples. Let's do... 37 degrees, 22.3 minutes north. 37 degrees, 22.3 minutes north. And show me where that would be on the latitude scale. It would be right here. Right? Here's 37 degrees, 20. Here's 21. Here's 22, and then 0.3 would be about right there. And let's do 76 degrees, 23.5. 76 degrees, 23.5. Here's 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 0.5 would be right here. In order to make it easier when you're answering questions, I always put a tick by the latitude and the longitude so I can find it again very easily. And I always put the question number beside that tick. So if the question asked about 37 degrees 23.1, I would put a tick right here, and then I would put question number 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. Same thing on the longitude scale. If the longitude scale had a question that included 76 degrees, 22.5, I would put a tick right there, and I would put the question number above it. Because when you're taking your test, you're going to have at least 10 questions, so you're going to have ticks all over the place. You're going to have markings all over the place. So to make it easier, put the question number beside it so that way you can reference that.
So we're on the chart. I'm using Chesapeake Bay entrance, which is 12221. Two, two, one. I'm actually using the training chart. Let's just say our latitude is 37 degrees, 02.7. Right here is 37 degrees. 37 degrees even is right here. 37 degrees, 0, 0, 0. Each one of these is one nautical miles. So there's 37 degrees, 0, 1.0, 0, 02.0, 0, and 0, 03.0. So if we're going 37 degrees, 0, 02.7, it would be right here. That would be our latitude, 37 degrees, 02.7. Now we look at the bottom, and let's just say our longitude is 75 degrees, 34.3. So right here is 75 degrees, 30. Here's 31, 32, 33, 34.3, two, three, is right there. So now we have our latitude and our longitude. Now we have to connect them to get our navigational fix. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is take our parallels and you want to put them on the inside line on that line of meridian. The lines of meridian run vertically. Here's a line of meridian, here's a line of meridian, and here's a line of meridian. So what we want to do is line up the inside of our parallels with that line. And we want to walk it over To where we made our mark. And then we're just going to draw a line. Now we do the same thing with latitude. We use the inside line of our parallels, line it up with that parallel of latitude, and walk it up to our line. Where those two lines meet is your latitude and longitude. That is your fix. You always circle a fix. So right here is our fixed position. Now let's just say we have a fix. Let's just say our fix is right here. Let's just call this our fix right here. So how do we know what this latitude and longitude is? What we're going to do is we're going to take our dividers and we're going to line them up on the parallel of latitude right here and line it up. Then we're going to walk it over and put it on that same parallel of latitude and that looks to be 37 degrees, 02.1. So there's 37 degrees right here, 0, 01, 0, 02, and it's just one tick past that, 02.1. That is your latitude. And we do the same thing with the meridians of longitude. We put it on the nearest meridian and our fix, and then we transfer that down to the bottom. And this looks like 41, 42, 43. This looks like 75 degrees, 43.9. Here's 40, 41, 42, 43, and it's just one tick below that 44. So that's 43.9. 
that's how you get a latitude and a longitude.